I want to give you another example of how transparently dishonest the anti-China propaganda is. And uh, I do this on a regular basis. I expose both mainstream media and their lies about China. And I also go after people who are, you know, supposedly part of the, the alternative media, people that claim that they're not connected to the mainstream media. But I, I think we all know that this is all a very coordinated effort and that they're kind of using a combined strategy to work their way into every target market imaginable. And two people working their way into the knuckle-dragging, ignorant, racist market segment in the West is uh, Matthew Tai and Winston Stursel. And so I have caught them in a gigantic lie. I, I had seen this on Reddit and I was reading through some, some of the comments and I'm pretty sure that this is where they got it. They obviously didn't get it by doing actual real research, but let's just jump right into it. This is a, a video that M Matthew Tai and Winston Sturzel did together. It's about the remake of Dune, which originally is a novel and it's actually a a really good story. It's very interesting. I liked it at least. Uh, but this is about the remake and this is about movie posters, a lie about movie posters. So let's listen to what uh, Winston Sturzel and Matthew Ty, what, what do they have to say about the Dune movie poster? Anyway, long story short, we were very curious as to how this got into the Chinese market, but we, we looked at this poster. It's more like the Harkonnen Baron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Anyway, um, we were like looking at this poster and we were like, they are definitely going to change this movie poster. So what did we do? We went to Baidu and we looked it up. Yeah. So on Baidu, we searched the, the Dune um, poster and yeah, let's get us out of there. Notice there's some something's missing. Someone's missing from that poster. Who could it be? I don't know. Could it be the could it be the black woman? I think it's the black person. Yes. <laughs> let's go back. She's clearly there. Okay, yeah. you can see her. She's obviously probably a main character. Well, she she's, she might be a fremen because her eyes are okay. you know blue, which happens from saturation with the spice. But anyway, the fact of the matter is, she is currently in that poster, but in the Chinese poster, whoa, there's no black person in the poster. Oh, I'm so surprised. What a surprise. Anyway, it's just China <sighs> pulling a China again. Yep. Because they, I guess they're worried that if people see a black person, they're not going to want to go see the movie or something. John. Okay, and so that everything that they just said is an absolute lie and we can verify that it's a lie very easily. Now, these are two people who claim to be, you know, China experts. And yet when they decided to do research about movie posters in China, they did an image search on Baidu, which is a Chinese search engine, and they didn't show us what the actual results were when they typed in Dune in Chinese. They didn't show what all of the results were. They just cherry picked one that fit their narrative. Now, I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to show you what pops up when you type in Dune 2021 into Baidu. I'll show you all of the results because I'm not, I'm not a nasty little liar like Winston Sturzel and Matt Ty. And I don't think that my audience are a bunch of idiots and will just believe anything that I say. Uh, apparently they do. Uh, but let's look at Baidu. So here it is. There's Dune 2021. And if you don't if you don't speak, read, or write any Chinese, what you can do is you can just go to Google Translate, type in Dune, and, and you just get the Chinese characters, copy and paste it into Baidu, and you can see for yourself. And just type in 2021 so that it kind of knows that you're looking for this movie remake. Now, what are the first posters that pop up with, with the cast in it? It's this one right here. And if we click on this one, Look, this is the Chinese movie poster, and there is Sharon Duncan Brewster, who, who Winston and Matt couldn't even be bothered to look up what the name of this actress, what her name was. Uh, it's Sharon Duncan Brewster, and she played the role of Dr. Liet Keynes, who was a planetologist. In the novel, he was a very prominent character, and it was originally a male character uh, in the 1980s version. I think it was 1980s or 1970s the original Dune movie it was played by a white male actor and now it's Sharon Duncan Brewster who I thought did a really good job the character is I wouldn't say minor but also not a main character and she dies uh, like ha a little more than halfway through the movie and this character dies in the book as well anyway as you can see this is a Chinese movie poster including Sharon Duncan Brewster right there and here's another thing if you claim to be a China expert 
you would contact people who live in China and ask them, hey, you know, I lived in China for a long time. You know me. We know each other. Can you just go to the local cinema and take a picture of the Dune poster? I want people to know how racist and terrible China is, and I want to show them what's really going on in China. They didn't do that because if they did that, this is what they would have found. Because I, I know people in China, and they sent me a picture of not only the movie poster, but also what pops up on their apps when they look for movies that they want to watch and buy tickets to. So here is the app, one of the apps, and you can see that is the same movie poster I just showed you. There is Sharon Duncan Brewster right there. It's kind of hard to see because it's a, it's a small picture. Here's another app. There's the movie poster. There she is again. And this is outside of a cinema in China. And there she is, Sharon Duncan Brewster as Dr. Liet Keynes. This is a Chinese movie poster. So uh, Matthew Tai and Winston Sturzel, they're liars. They lied. They know their audience are racist, knuckle-dragging idiots, basically. That's what they are. They won't question anything that they say. And uh, if, you go to, if you go to this uh, video, you're going to see, uh, this was just 10 hours ago. They have over almost 30,000 views. This podcast is uh, I got over 100,000 subscribers and each one of them has hundreds of thousands of subscribers on their respective individual channels. So they're going to claim that China is racist, but in order to do so, they have to just completely make up a lie. They will not show you what the actual movie posters at theaters in China look like. They won't show you that. They will just make up something, cherry pick some search result from Baidu, and that's their evidence. And if that's their evidence for that, what do you think their evidence is for all of the other ridiculous claims that they make? Do you think that they're, this was the only time they slipped up? Or do you think that this is something that they consistently do? And the worst part is they're sitting there accusing China of being racist, but the whole reason these lies are accepted by such a wide audience in the West, lies that are, are easily debunked, is because the West is, is the society that is truly deeply racist. Even to this day, 2021, it was the United States who went to Africa rounding up black people, bringing them back, enslaving them for generations. And then even after you know freeing them, they were still treated as second class citizens as a matter of US law. There are people alive today in the United States who were alive when there were laws segregating black people from white people and denying black people the same privileges that white people enjoyed in the US. And even today, you can still see the signs of systematic and systemic racism all across the United States. And of course, their foreign policy is one of destroying one developing country after the other in nations that are predominantly non-white. So again, this is a matter of, of one, lying anti-China propaganda and projection where the, the actual racists are wa wagging their finger at China. And in order to do so, they have to completely make up a story that is demonstrably not true. I just showed you uh, a, a picture taken at a cinema in China, mainland China, of a movie poster where Sharon Duncan Brewster is featured on the movie poster, a Chinese movie poster. So another lie by Winston Sturzel and Matthew Tai debunk. I wish I could say that it was a great accomplishment, but it really is easy to do. And every once in a while, we have to sweep up the trash. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Think about subscribing. It's free to do. It helps the channel grow. I have a website, newatlas.report. I am not allowed on US-based social media. Uh, so if you want to find and follow my work, uh, go to newatlas.report. There are no ads. There is no paywall. There never will be. So please bookmark it and share it with others. In the video description below, I'm going to give you some, some links so that you can go and check out the Baidu search results yourself because I, I don't think that my audience are uh, gullible or idiots. I, I really believe that that not only are they uh, good at critical thinking, but I think they want to go and see this for themselves. So the links will be in the video description below. There will also be ways in the video description that you can use to help support my work. And to everyone who has been, whether it's through Patreon, month to month, or one-time donations, or even if you're just liking and sharing my work, I could not do this without that support. So thank you, and as always, thank you for watching.